What's up guys, hope you're doing great. This is your boy Kobe Shots. If you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're old, welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna tell you about how I was able to accumulate as many as 1,500 subscribers, you know, within a matter of months. So let's get right into the video without much ado. Of course, I know there are a lot of content out there on YouTube, everywhere articles have been written about how you can grow your YouTube channel to make YouTube probably your full-time job if that's what you're looking forward to making and uh, i must confess it hasn't been a very easy journey to thread all right because um you can post a video you can spend hours and hours trying to master your camera how to master your composition skills your lighting skills create something good sit behind your computer to edit over hours you place it on youtube or you upload it onto your youtube channel and after three days or even a week you come back and you realize that only just a handful of people like 10 people have only watched it and of course i understand it becomes very frustrating you've all been there i still am going through this 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 kind of difficulty and as difficult as it can get it can actually get into your head and probably you might even get frustrated all to the very end that you might even let go of the idea of making youtube your full-time job and it becomes even daunting when you realize that the first threshold is very difficult to achieve how much more the 4,000 hours of watch time here that is the second criteria that you need to surpass to be able to join the youtube partnership program personally i haven't been admitted yet into the youtube partnership program but i want to give you some tips that i used or that i did to be able to accumulate as many as 1500 subscribers as at the record of this video so let's simply get into it all that i did basically was consistency and i tried to motivate myself that it was going to get better every time so anything that i was able to achieve be it the number of subscribers that i had as a goal for myself within the week i did my best to celebrate it as much as i could with something to remind me that i can still keep going sometimes you can get as many subscribers within a month other months it wouldn't be as consistent because probably the rate at which youtube processed or um, propagated your videos were not as it was before and that becomes very very daunting because if you are looking forward to increasing your youtube subscribers every month but you realize that sometimes it doesn't go that way it tells you a lot that probably might misconstrue what it actually means but you just have to keep on going as a creator create what you love find your niche make sure that you don't do so many things outside what you're actually doing because the number of followers that you're accumulating are people who are going to love your content because of what it carries and what the niche is all about so as you create content you're going to definitely get better at them and you're going to know what exactly to create and what particular time your audience are actually online and would you know be the best time to show your videos to them so make sure that you celebrate every milestone that you've set for yourself as an individual don't focus on your colleagues or people that you started youtube before and they've definitely surpassed you or whatever just focus on what you are creating make sure that you are as consistent as you can possibly be and i'm sure that you're going to reach that goal that you're looking for i am seeing a huge difference in my youtube subscriber count every day every week because of some consistency that i put in last month i made sure that i was going to create many videos than i would in the previous times because previously i would set for myself that i would create at least two videos a week and eventually happened that i created just one video a week and um, when i pushed myself against the wall that i was going to put a lot of things aside to be able to make time for my youtube channel that is exactly when i saw growth happening to my youtube channel i will spend time over time over time watching youtube videos listing down possible topics that i could create around my niche whether it's filmmaking and photography and i would create a lot of content edit them as many as i could upload them and schedule them ahead of time so that i could have more time for myself to create more ideas put them together and shoot them and put them all across for scheduled times ahead of me and as i kept on doing that i looked up at how many videos i have created for that particular month just last month and i was surprised i could create as many as 18 and even more videos within that month and it was surprising because i put it to myself that i was going to lock myself inside take my time and create content 
and put it out there for people to see and eventually hopefully have people subscribing to my channel and that was exactly what happened so it taught me something that probably is not not getting time for youtube channel is actually what it is but if you're able to put aside sacrifice a lot of things that you need to do going out you know doing chores creating content for clients or doing whatever it is that gives you money and not having time for youtube channel that's exactly where the problem is so if you're able to place a bit of time for yourself aside or even you can look at it this way if you can have one day off if for instance you are working with a company or you are an employee for that matter you can set aside let's say a weekend where you can decide to create as many videos as you can just like a talking head type shot like this one and um, also you can go out there and film videos for the purpose of content creation put them all together within that same weekend try as many as you can and put them across for instance, you can return from work if you were unable to completely edit everything within that weekend. You can, you know, after your work during the weekdays, you can come back if you can, sit down, edit them and schedule them ahead so that you can be as consistent as possible because the YouTube algorithm is definitely designed in such a way that it needs to have people who are serious about their YouTube channels and that's where they can promote your content to viewers to watch them. And moreover, you're gonna have a lot of engagement on your YouTube channel. So of course, I know you've been searching for a lot of content here on YouTube as well as almost anywhere that you can find articles that can teach you step-by-step step or probably whatever it is that you can do to be able to grow your YouTube channel. But the single most simplest way and the surest way to go with YouTube is to find what you are interested about because if you are interested about one thing and you are creating content around it because you have that technical know-how and that bit of information about it it will motivate you to be able to create more content on that and it all boils down to one single thing as well and that's consistency you just have to be as consistent as possible. Focus on what your audience definitely would love by looking at all the videos that you've created before. Look at the trend and see how many views do you have on each video. Study the trend and probably you're gonna find a line that links each video that has many views than the others and look for whatever it is. Probably is the topic or probably is the thumbnail that you created or probably is basically maybe the content that it carries that has its attraction so high that it could attract many people to watch those videos. As you look at them and you analyze them and you find what it is, keep on using that as a yardstick and use that to create your content. And I'm pretty sure that you're gonna find your way through. I have found my way through and I'm creating many contents as I can within every month. I have a goal for myself this month. I definitely have another goal for myself the subsequent months over the listed down. Don't follow any tricks whatsoever. The surest way is consistency and make sure that you engage with your audience as well when they comment on your videos. Try to comment back and engage with them. And as you engage with your audience consistently as they comment and you reply them, they're gonna have that impression that you care about what they say about your videos. And listen to them also, because they can be giving you some ideas that you can also create content around and can keep you within that space where you can eventually create good content and more subscribers will come running into your channel. And that brings us to the end of the video. This is exactly how I was able to accumulate the 1,500 subscribers I have here on my YouTube channel. It hasn't been an easy journey, as I said before, but the surest way was consistency. And as I put that into practice, I've been able to achieve this milestone that I'm ready to even achieve more and more and more. Okay, so that's exactly how I accumulated the number of subscribers that I have over here on my YouTube channel. So it's all about consistency, motivation, self-motivating yourself and having that zeal to achieve the goal that you've set for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down in the comment section below and let me know if you enjoyed it and tell me the things that you love to see over here on my YouTube channel. And if you are inspired as well and you haven't subscribed to my channel, why don't you subscribe? Turn on the post notification button so that you always be notified and you'll be the first to watch the next video I have coming up on my YouTube channel. And until the next video, have a wonderful day. See ya.